Eight seconds to go in the half. Into the front court, here's Yancey. Kendall stops, long three, good! How about that? Kendall Yancey knocks it down, and then from midcourt, Edwards launches, misses that, and the Longhorns, after all is said and done, will take a three-point lead into the locker room in the half. Something else there, the three-pointer knocked down by Kendall Yancey. We welcome you back here to Longhorn Weekly. Now, before we introduce our next guest, just a quick comment on that, that last sequence of the first half with Kendall, because uh, you, had a, you had a good chuckle and a smile on your face when you left the floor there after Kendall had launched that long three and hit it. That's not what I was laughing at, actually. I know. <laughs> uh, there was a play uh, before that that uh, uh, Coach Kason and I had a little bit of a chuckle about. We, we, uh, we had a certain feeling about, about that play, but I won't go into detail there. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, what we will do is introduce you to Danny Newsom, who's with us, another member of this special triumvirate. It's, it's good to see you, the pride of Langham Creek High School. Yes, yes, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. And I just want to ask if uh, me, Ryan, and Joe were the, were the last players to be represented on Longhorn on, on this show? No. We aren't? No. Cam has not been on. Uh, no, no. Uh, was, uh, I don't think we've had Kendall. Kendall, I don't, I don't think it's been out. Yeah. So, uh, well, I was going to say that's very fitting because we are the, the last bench. ones off the bench. So, but, yeah. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing we ought to start by doing is get getting get you to tell everybody this will become your senior year, right? This will because yes. of what Shaka was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. Coach Mar was talking about. The fact you're getting recruited all over again? This is true, yes. I'm in uh, the MPA program, which stands for the Masters in Professional Accounting program here at Texas. And it's a five-year program where you get your bachelor's and your master's in five years. And so next year, half of the semester, I will be working an internship with hopefully a big four public accounting firm. You're excited about that. I am very excited. Tell yes. them who the big four are. The big four are Deloitte, KPMG, PwC, and... Uh, E, uh, Ernst and Young, EY. All right, so it would be one of those then? be one of those, yeah. And actually in like about 25 minutes, I'm about to go have dinner with uh, some Deloitte people at uh, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Tonight, wow, so. this guy is big time. Yeah, so, yeah. So let me Enjoyed ask you this, Danny. It. When you have to choose one, are you going to get like the four hats of the four <laughs> accounting firms and lay them out there and then put one on for the one that wins? Is that how that works? Uh, it probably won't be that dramatic. You know, I think uh, those I've uh, passed those days. But you announce uh, on Twitter. Yeah, we might. We maybe we'll do there something with the last ones off the page. That's a good one. That's a, that, that's a good one. Uh, Shaka, uh, we, we talk about the importance of having these guys, but you mentioned that Danny might be the best shooter on the team. Oh man, he can really, really shoot, and uh, you know, we'll do different things in practice where uh, we talk to our guys about, you know, rotating. And he, because he's Danny 6'9", uh, he's playing the four or the five. And so guys might ha have to help off of him on a pick and roll or, or, or some type of rotation. And he gets open and he's shooting that thing in. I mean, it's, it's, it's automatic. And just stay ready, man, because there's been a couple times late in the game where we've said, hey, you know what, it might not be bad to throw Danny in there because <laughs> Uh, you know, I know Javon disagreed, but if we just lined the guys up and had a, just a straight three-point shooting competition, I think Danny would be right there. <laughs> wow. Do you feel the same way? Oh, I mean, we've, we've often played a knockout on the road, and I, I will say that I often finish in the top one or two. I start to say you've knockout. won your share. You've been right yeah. around. In yeah. Who, who yeah. would you say, is a, uh, other than you, is the best shooter on the team? Uh, I think I would – I mean – I think it's a close tie between Connor Lambert and Javon Felix. So. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. T take everybody through what what's your daily routine like with everything you do off of the floor as well as what happens in in uh, on the floor with your teammates. What t Tell everybody a little bit about what a typical day in the life of Danny Newsom yeah, is all about. Yeah, I would say a typical day for me right now is uh, I've got 8 a.m. class, and usually class will go for about three hours until 11 o'clock, and then – I have a little break there between uh, uh, then and practice, and I get some lunch, maybe do some homework, and then I go to practice. And then after practice is usually where I get in the most of my homework done. So it's usually in about three or four hours, sometimes, depending on if I have tests, maybe a little bit more than that about each night. So it's There's not a lot demanding. of free time. Left. No, there's not, yeah. So you really enjoy everything that you're putting into it well, uh, because of all the work that's involved. Yeah, I, I do. I've, uh, I really love the MPA program here. Uh, I mean, you, you heard Ryan make an, a comment about accountants, yeah. but yeah. I think that's, uh, that's pretty unfair. <laughs> I, 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 I love what I do at least, so um, I'm pretty excited to uh, move on with that part of my life. Shaka, would you trust this young man with your tax return? <laughs> I sure would. I sure would. I mean, 
Uh, Danny's a guy that you can count on to get the little things right. I mean, he, his attention to detail is uh, very, very good. And, uh, you know, he's been a part of this team for a long, long time, a lot longer than I've been here. So, obviously, uh, not this, this next game, Oklahoma, but a couple games after that, we'll get the opportunity to honor Danny and the, and the other, uh, you know, fourth-year players. And uh, we'll be excited about that night. Yeah, and, and I know you'll look forward to that as well. What, what's the best part? of being a student athlete at the University of Texas? Uh, I mean, I, so I could have gone, uh, played at smaller schools, but my heart was always with Texas, and so I think the best part is just being able to represent the University of Texas at Austin, wherever I go, whether that's on road trips, uh, through my academics, or my future job, and I think that's been the coolest part, of the, part about it, is saying I go to the University of Texas. What was that conversation like when you talked to your folks and said, look, I've got some scholarship offers other places, but I would rather go to the University of Texas and walk on to the basketball. You know what? My mom and dad were in love with Texas as well. My older brother went to Texas, so I think it was a no-brainer for the entire family. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you enjoy, we, we talk about the, the basketball part of it. What, what was it about accounting that appealed to you so much? So my mom is a CPA herself, a certified public accountant. So you grew up around it. Yes, and she owns her own business, and she just does individual tax returns, so that's what I've been exposed to. And so when I got into the McCombs School of Business, I decided to try accounting, and I really liked it. And so I got into the MPA program, and here we are now. Shaka, you've been around a lot of outstanding student athletes. Does it ever cease to impress, if not amaze you, how some guys can be so heavily invested in what they're doing to make their future on down the road beyond basketball? Well, the thing that's exciting and really impressive uh, about Danny is uh, he's working so hard, uh, as, as he talked about, in terms of what's going to come next with his future. But if you came to practice, you wouldn't know that he's any different than anyone else. I mean, he, he, he's just as locked in on what we're doing in practice, on team trips and games, and that's really impressive. And th to a man, all the guys on our team, their level of appreciation uh, for, for all three of these guys is really, really high. And one of the things we always talk about is being connected. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate these guys because they truly are connectors. And that's part of what makes your team fun. Danny, great to see you. Thank you for joining Hey, uh, good luck tonight, okay? Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. You yeah. bet. Danny Newsom with us. We'll have more coming up here from Pluckers, the West Campus location, when Longhorn Weekly continues here on the Longhorn Network and the Longhorn IMG Radio Network.